Let's now talk about facial expressions. What's the point of a face, right? Why do we have faces apart from holding all the gunk in? One of the major functions is that it communicates emotion. It's really good at it. It's almost too good at it. We don't always want to have our emotions broadcast to the world. Some of us have got very leaky faces in a sense that our emotions leak out really quickly. Humans are really, really good at picking up on them. Now, there's an argument, and it was originally made by Paul Ekman, that there are six basic emotions. Happiness, surprise, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. You might be looking at that list going, well, that's insane, there's way more emotions than that. Well, there are, but it's a bit like primary versus secondary colours. The argument is that there are six basic emotions, six primary colours of emotions. All the other emotions you can think of are blends of these emotions, blends of happiness and surprise, or blends of sadness and disgust, and stuff like that. The argument is that there are six basic emotions and each have a distinct facial expression attached to them. Ekman did propose some additional basic emotions in the 1990s, amusement, contempt, contentment, embarrassment, excitement, guilt, pride, relief, satisfaction, sensory pleasure, and shame. But let's keep it simple and focus on the initial six. Happiness. You might be looking for an upturned mouth. That's what we often do when we're happy. We communicate through a smile. You don't have to see an upturned mouth to actually register a smile though. Sometimes people have their smiling eyes. You can tell that people are happy, but yes, stereotypically, it's about the smile. Obviously, we smile for a number of different reasons. Why do we smile? Okay, it's got to do with happiness, to show other people that we're happy. Some of you might be feeling perfectly happy right now. Who knows? You might not be showing that with a smile on your face, though. But if you're sitting at home on your own and you're happy, you might not be smiling. If you've ever walked down the street and you see someone smiling for no apparent reason, you might cross the road to avoid them as they might look a little crazy to you. When you're smiling, what you're trying to do is communicate that you're happy. You can try to communicate that you're happy for a whole range of reasons, one of which is that you're happy, right? But it could be that you're just feeling flat, but you want other people to think that you're happy. Or you're trying to mask negative emotion. Maybe you're trying to disguise that you feel rejected at the moment. It's surprisingly common when people have just been rejected for them to put on a little smile to mask their true feelings. You'll often see this in reality TV shows when there's someone who's evicted from the show and they're still smiling, but they're really hurting on the inside. You can try turning the sound down. Often it's hard to tell who's won because the winner often looks concerned for the loser and the loser puts on a big smile. Just like when you watch the Academy Awards, you see all the losers live as the names are read out they're all so happy for the winner, but I bet they'd much rather be the winner themselves.